What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 23. We start today's list off as May comes around with our final scouting updates and academy update of this season as well. I've got to say props to our scouts this season because we found quite a few good youth players for our academy and of course we know Schuster who we picked up this season has now become our starting goalkeeper as well. Our academy is looking really really good. Martin another young goalkeeper ready to be promoted 84 to 90. Walter looks the best youngster 88 to 94 potential holding mid who's six foot four can't wait till he turns 16 there's also shive a young left back who looks really good as well this is a this is a really good bielfeld academy and i said i wanted some good youngsters last season i felt a little bit let down by our scouts although we did get of course constantine schaefer and ludwig who have become stars in this team but got to say scouting this year has given us a really good return anyway two games to go both away days union Berlin and then Leipzig away as you can see two games remaining we've guaranteed European football for next season the lowest we could finish is sixth but fifth fourth and to be fair even third are still possible the likely it is though it's going to be either fourth fifth or sixth if we're going to get fourth we have to win back to back if we're going to get fifth we cannot afford a defeat in our final two games. The fact of the matter is, sixth is guaranteed. But if we're going to get a Europa League or Champions League spot, yeah, I'd say we need to win probably back to back. So first game of today's episode, Union Berlin, penultimate game of the season. Nothing to play for for the host heading into the game. So I was thinking, okay, all right, this has got to be a big win to give us the confidence to travel to Leipzig on the final day. Well, we had the first chance. It was still 0-0, but 11 minutes into the game, my heart was beating, but I managed to keep my composure. Can you believe it? Schuster with a goalkeeper assist, the first of the series oh they are so rare I get like one every like six or seven seasons so one a series ordinarily but Schuster the kid well we've called him the next Manuel Neuer and with kicking ability like that I'd say that reputation is justified oh Schuster the kid with a goalkeeper assist he's really come up big late on this season after that man in the match display against Wolfsburg he's starting to transition from boy to man it's 1-0 to Bielfeld and then 33 minutes and awesome. great dribbling from Okugawa. We get a little bit lucky. Off flows to Dardai. Finds a bit of space and drills it. And I mean drills it in to make it 2-0 and double our lead. Hack with the first. Dardai with our second. We're tuning up in Berlin at the break. And I was thinking, here we go. No Jamie Llewellyn. No problem. No wins in our last two games. No top scorer for Bielfeld. But we're going to be okay. 20 minutes to go. Finn Ole Becker almost made it free. Great save. Kept it at 2-0 with five minutes to go here as I'm passing out for in the back. This was this was really cool, man. Schuster didn't want to pick the ball up, just kept the ball at his feet. And then as he launched it long, Sarah off the bench, flicks it onto Schaefer. Great little knock-on by our striker off the bench. Schaefer storms down the right, outpaces Kadira, dinks it through to Ludwig. Our academy grads link up, and then Sarah completes the move off. Two of our three goals started by Schuster at the back between the sticks. I absolutely loved it. His kicking is his highest attribute for goalkeeping attributes, and he proved in today's episode he might well be the next Manuel Neuer. He might well be the next Edison. His distribution, brilliant. He started two of our three goals and got a goalkeeper assist as well in a 3-0 victory away in Berlin. A big, big win in the penultimate game of the season. The question was, what would it mean for the league table? Well, here is the answer. Bielfeld remain in sixth after Leverkusen won and jumped up to third. So on the final day, Bayern knew that a win would see them crown champions again. But for the top four, four teams going for a Champions League spot on the final day. Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Leipzig and us, of course. We had to win and we needed Leverkusen and Wolfsburg to slip up. Leipzig, however, they knew they probably needed to win as well if they were to get back in the top four after dropping to fifth on the final day. So heading into the final game, the outcome was very, very simple. We knew what we had to do away at the Red Bull Arena. Win. A draw was a defeat. We would guarantee a sixth place finish if we could not beat Leipzig on the final day and we'd have Europa Conference League next season. A win and we guarantee to finish in fifth and leapfrog Leipzig and depending on results could finish in a Champions League spot. But the likelihood is we'd probably get a Europa League spot at best 
But again, we had to win with Leipzig being in fifth, heading into the final day. So in the first half, both teams needed the win. A draw for either side was not what they wanted. I mean, both teams would finish outside the top four. It was a bit of a nervy first half, I'll be honest. One chance for either side. I say one chance. We had a half chance. Schaefer's shot going wide. It was still a 0 0. Leipzig had been the slightly better team in the first half. A great save by Schuster. It kept it at 0 0. And 10 minutes after the restarts, we were still deadlocked. I knew at some point someone would get a goal. And in the end, it proved to be a former Toffee who gave the host the lead. DCL. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Fires in the opener. Leipzig have what I'd probably say was a deserved lead. And then 10 minutes afterwards, I knew at this point, we were going to need a miracle if we were to finish higher than sixth place and qualify for the Europa or Champions League. We were down by a goal. And I don't know. To me, this... This was unfortunate. I did not think this was a penalty. Pfeiffer sticks his leg out, does make clear connection with the ball, get the ball clear, but the referee signals for a, what I would consider a very soft penalty. It's given, but it's turned in by Andre Silva. Leipzig go two goals up, and to be fair, we were a goal down. I wasn't playing great. It was unlikely we were going to come back from that anyway, but now 2-0 down against a much stronger side after a contentious penalty is converted by Silva, and I just I just couldn't create clear-cut chance in this game. 20 minutes to go, our best chance fell there. Really, Ludwig storming down the right, cutting it across, but Kruger's shot blocked from close range. In the end, what was a 2-0 loss, and it's ended by Leipzig on the final day. No defeats in our last seven games, but on the final day of the season, we go to the Red Bull Arena and get beaten 2-0. It's over. It is over. The Champions League and Europa League dreams die on the final day, but to be fair... I wasn't too disappointed. We were up against the Leipzig side away who were far better than us. They needed to win as much as we did to qualify for the Champions League, which is what they did on fourth place. Leapfrog in Wolfsburg as Bayern were champions. Again, no surprises. Dortmund, Leverkusen and Leipzig after their winning us on the final day. Season in the top four. Wolfsburg in the Europa League. We finished in a Europa Conference League spot though in sixth place this season. But I think the goal difference to me was the main concern. We scored 53 goals, but 43 conceded this year. It it could have been better, and it probably should have been better as well. We were on the end of a few drubbings this season, which once again really hampered us in the late season situations, as Llewellyn was second in the goal scoring charts in the end behind Robert Lewandowski. Okugawa did win the assist title once again, and that was really cool to see. And, you know, to me, I'm, I'm going to take sixth place every day of the week. Yes, to lose on the final day and miss out on what would have been how we won it, a Europa League spot or potentially a Champions League spot is disappointing. But we qualified for a European competition for next season. It's for season three, and you know I'm going to take that every day of the week. I've never played the Europa Conference League before either, so I'm really excited for it. It's Dusseldorf beat Freiburg in the relegation playoff and are up to the top tier alongside um, uh, Hoffenheim and also Hertha Berlin, who were relegated last season. Um, as you can see, uh, Bayern Munich won the uh, po Deutsche Pokal, DFB Pokal, sorry. Uh, so they are domestic double winners. Valencia won the Europa Conference League which we're going into next season. Spurs beat PSG in the Europa League final. I thought that was really interesting indeed. I can imagine Pochettino was fuming. But as for the Champions League, oh my goodness. Oh, Leicester City <laughs> went all the way to the Champions League final. OG beaten by Atletico Madrid. I thought that was really interesting because obviously Atletico were the team that beat Leicester back in the Champions League orders years ago. Back in the quarterfinals, I think it was. But Atletico win the Champions League. Leicester, Champions League finalists though. How about that? But I've got to say, you know, for our second season with Bielefeld, yes, on the final day, disappointed to not get the win we needed to get a better European competition. But if you offered me Europa Conference League at the start of the season, I would have taken it. Previously, I've called it a bit of a Mickey Mouse competition, but now I'm not going to say that because I wanted European football to shoot Karina next season. I... I would have dreamed of the Champions League and there was a slight possibility after that great run towards the end of the campaign, but it was very unrealistic to expect that in our second season. Europa Conference League does me totally fine. I'm really looking forward to it. I said the start of the season, top eight. You know, top eight was my aim. The board said finish mid-table. Last year, we finished in the top 10. That that was my aim once again. Volta, by the way, how good does this guy look as a six foot four holding mid? Could definitely play centre-half in this team as well with a great defensive stats 
and the height he's got. But yeah, the, the board said finish mid table. For me though, I didn't want to have a, a decrease in our league position after last season. We had a top eight finish last season. That to me was my minimum aim. But if I'm being honest, I was planning and hoping to sneak into a European spot. We did it in the end, finishing in sixth place. A great run of form. Those five wins on the trot really helped us do it in the end. And in the absence of Jamie Lewelling for our final few games to deliver it as well, I'm, I'm buzzing. Yes, in the end, you look at our final fixtures and say you only won one of your last four. Not a great run of form. Five points picked up from 12. But again, Europa Conference League for season three. I'm going to take it. Realistically, we're improving this Bielefeld side gradually, but it is still improvement regardless. So we're, we're still doing really, really well, but we're not doing things at an unrealistic rate of progression either. However, having said that, I do hope the next season we really, really kick on. This is a good team. It's a four-star team. As I run you through it, it's, it's really, really decent, but... I look at I look at the youngsters in this team, and that to me is where I want to see more development. When I say youngsters, we've got a really young team, but I mean our, our youth players. Schuster in goal with five clean sheets and eleven. Great decision to get him promoted from the academy and maximise his potential by throwing him into the deep end and getting that assist away against Union Berlin as well. But of course, Constantine Schaefer, our holding mid as well, six assists in thirty-one. And when you look at his development this season, as Dard, I agree, four ratings. What a signing he was from her to Berlin. He he grew six ratings, but he's still only 72 overall. I want him to really kick on next season and get into the high 70s. That, to me, is going to be my minimum expectation um, of Schaefer. And also the, the same uh, with Ludwig as well. You know, Ludwig this season, most of his growth came from the position change. I really want him to kick on next season and develop. If we're going to become a four and a half star team next season, I think the crucial development we need is from our youth academy graduates. But even so... A great season for Bielfeld. Oku Gower and Vimmer, not quite as good as last season. I say Vimmer this season is quite disappointing. Only one goal and four assists in 26. That's why Ludwig in the end took his position as Vimmer dropped to the bench. But Robin Hack this year turned out a big bid for Inter Milan and justifiably so. 11 goals in 34. But Ludwig this season, again, he grew 13 ratings, but that was mainly because of the position change from wing back to left wing. Next season, like Schaefer, I want to see him get into the high 70s with the ability and the the form he had this season, there's no reason why he can't do that. But I'm loving how the Bielfeld side is looking. We're forming our identity as a mostly homegrown talent type of team. So many German players here. Our German core is really strong indeed. We've got some great youth prospects in the academy as well. We're making progression with Bielfeld. We're doing it at a slow and realistic pace. And for next season with our four-star team, we're going into the Europa Conference League. I cannot wait. But that will end today's episode of the Bundesliga career mode and season two as a whole. Big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, please drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you for the start of the new season. Season three at the Schuka Arena of European football coming to Bielefeld very soon.